Take me back, Lord. Take me back there, Lord. To the place where I first received you, Lord. Take me back. Take me back, Lord. I'm sorry because I have gone astray. I have fallen short of your glory. I have missed the mark. I left you and I went into the world. I am sorry. Lord, take me back. Take me back, Lord. Take me back, Lord. Take me back to where I first believed you, where I first met you. Take me back, Lord. Take me back. I remember when we first met. I remember when you called me. When you beckoned unto me. When you called me by name and you accepted me. When you held my hands. And led me to you. When you showed me the word and you said the earth was yours. You said everything belonged to you. And you said, if I followed you, you will bless me. And then I agreed. I agreed to come to you. I agreed to be blessed of you. And then you put me on my knees and you blessed me. And you put on my neck the garland of grace. And you wore for me the robe of righteousness. And you put on my hand the staff of honor. And you placed in my hands the book of righteousness. And you said to me, this book of the law will not depart from my mouth. I should study and show myself approved. And then, finally, you wore my head the heart of glory. And you equipped me to the world. For, and you blessed me. And you promised me you will always be with me. You said you will always lead and direct me. You said you will always be my God. As long as I do not leave your vicinity. As long as I do not stay away. And you said I should go into the world and multiply. And as I wanted to step out, you called me back. And you anointed me with the oil of mercy. And you said to me, If everything fails, mercy cannot fail. If everything fails, mercy will not fail. And then I, be, I began to go. I began to do exploits. You were with me. You spoke with me. You directed my path. You led me. You guided my steps. You made me fruitful. You empowered me. I was empowered. I had your grace. I had your honor. I was clothed with your righteousness. I was walking with you. And then, somehow, the world began to beckon unto me. The world began to become attractive to me. I began to go away from your, from your leading and direction. The world came. They came with the way they do things. The world came with the wealth, the riches of this world. They came with wealth. It was attractive. The world beckoned unto me. I wanted, I began to desire to mingle with the world. I, I wanted to be part of what the wealth they were making. I wanted to be part of the world. And then I ran to the world. 
the world didn't accept me. I said, why? I ran again to them. <laughs> but they didn't accept me. And then they told me, how can they accept me when I have on, on me the grace of God? How can I mingle the world and then have the grace of God on me? And then with my own hands. Because I was desperate to mingle with the world, I threw away the grace of God. And I ran to the world. And the world accepted me. And they shared with me. And I began to make money the way the world were making money. But there's a way that cement right onto man. The end is destruction. Even though I had money, I'd lost his grace. What is man without the grace of God? But I was still desperate to flow with the world. I was still desperate to go along with the world. I needed to belong. I was going farther away from God. I'd lost his grace anyway. And then the world came again. They came with the enjoyment of the world. They came with the way they enjoyed life. They came the way they, they lived life. It looked so attractive. The things they drink, the things they smoke, it looked so, so lovely. And then I ran to the world. But they would not accept me. Why would they not accept me? I ran again to the world. They say, how can I mingle with them and do the things they do when I have the robe of righteousness? And then I said to myself, I want to enjoy the way the world is enjoying. What is this righteousness anyway? Why are we living as if the world... Let's enjoy ourselves. And with my own hands, I removed the righteousness of God. I threw it away. And I mingled with the world. And they accepted me. And they shared with me. And I began to enjoy the things that they are enjoying. I've come to drink the things that they're drinking, smoking the way they're smoking. I thought that was life. But I began to feel frustrated. I began to tell myself, this is not life. There's no happiness in it. Vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. I became hopeless. I began to go farther away from God deeper way into the world but I needed to have it I needed to go the way of the world I needed to make it the way they are making it and so the world came again with the way they are doing they came with crime when they came it looked so easy it looked so simple they felt like the, it, it looks as if these are the ones with power these are the ones who are their way and then I wanted to join them. But they rejected me. Why? They said, how can I be the, with the honor of God and do the things that they are doing? And then I looked at his honor. I don't need this if I need to join them. And with my own hands, I threw away the honor of God. And they ran and they embraced me. And they taught me the way they were doing. And I began to do the, the things they were doing. I was deeper into crime and into the world. But there was no happiness there. It is a part of death. A part of sorrow. I became frustrated again. What do I do? Where do I go? I have lost his grace. I have lost his honor and I have lost his righteousness. And then I began to search for an alternative to his to power. And then they came. They came with the alternatives. They came with other gods. They wanted to show me the way. The other way apart from the ways of God. When I saw them, I thought, yes. 
this way may be another way. Maybe this is the way to power. And I ran to go and get the power from it. And they said, no. That's what am I doing with the book of wisdom when I want to, to join them. They asked me, where am I between two opinions? If I want to serve God, just serve God. And if I want to serve them, I should serve them. And with my own hands, I took away the book of wisdom. And they accepted me. And they gave me their power. But soon I discovered that they have eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. There's no power in it. Powerless power. And then I began to be frustrated again. Almost stripped bare. I've lost every blessing of God. I've lost everything that God has endowed me with. And then I began to bingo with the world in their frustrated state. I began to beg like them. I began to, I became the dredge of the earth. I began to struggle like them. I was nothing anymore. But even as I wanted to follow them to beg, they said, no, I can't follow them. I am not like them. I'm still keeping something. Something does not, not show that. And then I remembered I had on my head the glory of God. His glory was still over me. And if I must join them in their, 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 their downtrodden level, I should throw away his glory. And then with my own hands, I threw away the glory of God. And they accepted me. I became part of their gang. People who are not going anywhere. People who have lost it. They became my friends. We began to move together. People who have, who have thrown away their destiny. People who have no hope in life. And then suddenly... I turned around and I saw that I was too far from God. And God was going to leave me. He was going away from me because I had disappointed him. Creating me a new heart, oh Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Ask me not away from your presence, O oh Lord. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore. And then I remembered the oil of mercy. I remembered you promised that when I plead mercy, the mercy can never fail. And I began to plead mercy. Mercy, Lord. Have mercy on me, Lord. I have fallen short of your glory. Have mercy on me, Lord. Mercy cannot have fail. Have mercy. With my own hands, I have thrown away your grace. I have thrown away your honor. I have thrown away your righteousness. And above all, I have thrown away your glory. Now the glory has departed from me. But here now I plead mercy. I know I am not qualified anymore. I am not righteous anymore. But if God is marking iniquity, who can stand? Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. And God turned around and began to beckon on me again just on the platform of mercy. You may have lost a lot with your own hands. You have, may have thrown away his grace. With your own hands, you may have thrown away his honor. But this evening, God is turning on the platform of mercy. God is turning for somebody on the platform of mercy. The glory of the latter rain. 
the glory is coming back again and he's going to be restoring seven times seven times and god beckoned unto me the years the locusts and the canker worms have eaten he began to restore he restored his grace he restored his honor he restored his righteousness and then he restored his glory i don't know how many here who want to say on the platform of mercy i am sorry because right now in this gathering god is turning back on the platform of mercy and god bless you in jesus name have mercy lord